guest today is here to tell us about a tale about an actual elephant rescued from a zoo in Belfast. Yeah, the story is told in the book, An Elephant in the Garden. It's set during World War II, and it features a German family struggle to survive as their country is ravaged by war while actually hiding an elephant in their garden to help save it. The book is now a stage play, and it's in Pittsburgh through the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust EQT Bridge Theater Series. Actress Allison Reed takes on 28 roles, 28 roles in this play, <laughs> including that of the elephant, and she is here to tell us more about this touching story. Good to have Hi. you here. Very nice to be 28 here. roles. I mean, yeah, is it exhausting it's, at it's, the end of a performance? It is quite tiring, <laughs> but it's really exhilarating as well. And I, I kind of believe that I am all those people. So at the end, I'm sort of, where, where, where have they all gone? Oh, Alice. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us the story. What, are, what is the story about? So the, the story is right at the end of the Second World War, and a mother and her daughter, um, they, 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 the father's gone off to war and the mother gets a job in the zoo and she brings home the elephant because she's really worried because when the if wars if the bombs drop on the city all the animals are going to have to be killed right. before the bombs drop to sort of save them so they don't all escape so the mother takes the elephant into into their garden but that night the bombs do come and the mother and her daughter flee taking the elephant with them which is you know they're trying to be secretive, they're trying right. to hide, so that it, it, at times it's very funny because there's an elephant with yeah, them. And right. It's not easy to <laughs> hide an elephant. It's not easy to yeah. hide it and it's not easy to uh, be incognito and not draw attention to yourself. But uh, along the way they meet lots of different people and befriend people and some amazing people help them out. And uh, Lizzie, the young girl, she falls in love with a pilot who's hiding in a barn and he travels with them and eventually they 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 meet the Americans who are joining in the war at that point who who who, who help them well I read an article about about this play and um, there are some concepts and ideas and discussions in this that can come out about what's going on across the world now yeah, with refugees yeah, yeah. and and trying to find safe places well I think what makes it because people say oh it's you know Second World War what does that mean to us but Really, it's showing a story about ordinary people in a very nice European city in Dresden, and they have to run on the night of when the bombs come. They literally run out of their house with nothing and flee and become refugees in their own country. And for me, I sort of hope that perhaps young people watching this can relate it to the things that are happening in the world now that right. you know there's a lot of war-torn countries and people are literally running for their lives and it's not about the enemy and whose side we're on it's just normal human beings yeah. and trying to rescue themselves and save themselves and 28 roles yeah that's incredible I hear the countess is one of your favorites yeah can you say something as the countess oh the countess well she's very calm okay and she's very organized and she has a very big house and she uh, allows people to stay refugees a whole choir of schoolboys they stay with her anyway <laughs> no that was good anyway i love it so amazing. she's she's an amazing she's a humanitarian and she she the rescues calm, people yeah and stuff. she stands up to um, an army officer who comes with guns to try and hound them out and she stands up to him and and asks him to look for the good in himself and let the let the family carry on yeah. so it's it, yeah it's quite an amazing story and I think it, it, Michael Mopogo is a very clever writer because he brings the animal which makes children able to relate Thank to these big epic Thank stories. Thank you so much, Allison. Yeah. Sounds fascinating and just incredible Pleasure. what you're able to take on in this. Look for an elephant in the garden at the Biome Theater this Friday through Sunday. You can call the box office or go online for showtimes and tickets.